I'm just gonna say stuff to the camera and we'll see what comes out. Hi, hello. Uh, so I don't normally do channel update videos. In fact, I've never done one. This is the first one ever. Uh, and it's generally because I'm honestly not a huge fan of them. I've always kind of felt like uh, you make the content and let people see. You don't necessarily have to announce to everyone what it is you're working on. But sometimes it's also really important to kind of just verbalize stuff sometimes. And I know I'm not like the most open person when it comes to, you know, talking about personal stuff, wall in videos and that kind of thing. So I don't know, just kind of felt like the time was right to finally make something like this. So first things first, uh, I'm burnt out, burning out. I don't know, somewhere on a scale of being burnt out and not burnt out, I'm much more on the burned out side of things. Uh, and the truth is I've been burning out since 2019. Uh, that was actually a really good year for the channel in terms of you know building a lot of subscribers, getting a ton of views. It's like my best year ever, really. Uh, but we were putting out three videos a week nonstop, and the truth is, it wasn't sustainable for my mind at all. Uh, especially the later part of 19, I could definitely feel myself kind of just not being able to keep up with it. It was just very tiring on my brain. Uh, not just in terms of the shooting schedule and all that kind of stuff, but just coming up with all the ideas, which definitely led to some videos I wasn't completely happy with, but hey, the upload ratio was there and going great. Plus there's always that fun thing where the videos you don't care about are the ones that blow up and the ones you actually put your heart and soul into don't make any views. That's a whole thing every YouTuber gets to deal with. It's fun. Anyways, that was going on for a while. And then 2020 hits, we get the pandemic, all the fun political climate stuff that went on is still going on really, uh, along with some of my own personal stuff that happened side by side that just it did not feel great about. Slowed down to two uploads a week, didn't really keep that consistent. I'm still not really keeping that consistent. Uh, and it just got, I, I've hit a point where my brain just doesn't really think of ideas anymore, to be honest. I just hit this kind of almost permanent form of writer's block where I feel the wheels are spinning, but nothing's really going anywhere. So that's why this video is called what it is, which I actually, I to be honest, right now while we're shooting this, I have not thought of the for sure final title. I'm thinking of something along the lines of taking a break, slowing down, I don't know, something like that. The point is I, I'm slowing stuff down on the channel. I'm not gonna, completely take a step back because I don't think that really is going to solve, at least with the way my brain works, the whole problem. I'm not gonna be doing like the whole month break thing that I've seen some other creators do, but I am gonna start slowing down to just one video a week so I have more time to not only polish the stuff that we're working on and I think give every video more time, but also so there's just more time for me to think of other concepts and just come up with more stuff that I'm happy creating. And that isn't to say that I haven't been happy with any of the videos that we've made in the last year and a half. I think we've made some really great videos. There's some big standouts that I'm a huge fan of, but those are kind of points of light amongst a lot of me spending time just going, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? Alongside having some videos that just didn't do great, uh, either because they were ones I was excited for and it didn't work out for whatever reason with the algorithm, or they're ones that at the end of the day, yeah, I just kind of made a video for the sake of making a video, and I hate doing that. <laughs> but sometimes the algorithm just makes you feel like you gotta. The other point of doing once a week is that while yes, videos will be getting extra polish, that also means I'm likely to have a lot more time on my own to really think more and more about what I'm exactly making for this channel. I think we kind of had a really good run going for a while when switch accessories were popping up left and right. There were certain new cycles to attach to. And not that all that stuff has stopped, but I just don't find myself energized by a lot of it as I used to be. And it's not that that kind of content is entirely gonna stop either. There's going to be accessories come out that I am excited by that I'll make videos for. There's gonna be news update stuff and all that kind of thing. It's not gonna be a total change in content, but I think I just need some more time to reorient where I wanna take this channel from here on out. Whether that's experimenting with some more stuff, putting more time into making similar content, but giving me that extra polish, just giving more breathing room to this channel. You know, for a while I was even considering doing a spinoff channel at the start of this year where that would be more labor of love content and then this channel would keep doing what it kind of traditionally does. 
But even that, I'm not sure, is the right move for now, because more than anything, I think I'm just burnt out on ideas. It's not even that I don't necessarily have any ideas, but I don't find myself happy with most of the ones I come up with, either because I feel like it's something we've done too many times, something that's been similar to something else. Uh, I find myself in a lot of positions where I just end up making a video for the sake of making a video, and that's not really a great way to make actually fun content. At least fun for me. So yeah, this has already been kind of in process. I mean, if you've been paying attention to the channel, we've already had a couple big gaps in the last couple uploads. Slightly different though, because that wasn't really me intentionally taking a week each time. It was more of me just kind of running my head against a wall going like, oh man, I need ideas. Oh no, ideas didn't come. It's taking even longer. And then you just have this fun cycle where you kind of keep doing that over and over again. So I'm gonna try and stop that <laughs> by just toning down how many videos a week I think we really need to get done and just really give that breathing room to, sure, maybe there's some opening gaps right now while I'm getting back on track, but then there's time in each of those weeks to really start planning out more and more higher quality content. Part of this too is the fact that I just got my second vaccination along with a bunch of people that I work with for making these videos. So once that's done, that also opens up some more options in terms of shooting locations, things we feel more comfortable doing in videos, maybe even going on site to some places. There's just been a lot of stuff that we haven't really let ourselves do as creatively as we used to because the pandemic made everything really weird. Now what this also means, aside from video slowing down though, is not right away. There's gonna be a few more, I think, kind of traditional videos for the next month or so, but I do wanna start messing around and experimenting with a little more content that's outside of the norm for this channel. Still gaming focused, but I don't know, maybe start talking about games a little more, maybe some kind of essay type content. Just there's more stuff I wanna get into that we either haven't done in a long time or stuff that's just been interesting to me but I haven't gotten into because I felt kind of latched into the let's make accessory videos kind of flow. Just taking more chances and stuff that more than likely is not gonna do super great at the outset, but honestly, there's a lot of ideas that I've done lately that were kind of tried and true ones that don't work out as much anymore for whatever reason. There's not as much interest in certain accessories. Enough people have already bought everything they need to buy for a Switch, whatever. It's just, if there was a time for me to start messing around with different stuff, the time is now. And honestly, I look forward to that. You know, and on that subject of, you know, maybe doing more experimental content and maybe more stuff focused on games themselves and not just platform, there's a lot of stuff right now that I'm really enjoying playing uh, that I think is kind of getting me hyped again just about talking about certain things. Uh, I just finished both Nier and Judgment. Resident Evil Village will be coming out. It's already out by the time this video is going live, but it's coming out later tonight, so I'm planning on hopping on that and having a great time. There's a lot of stuff going on game-wise that makes me kind of want to talk about this stuff more. I'm not necessarily thinking of doing like reviews because let's face it, there's a lot of review content out there. Uh, but I don't know, essays, retrospectives, just stuff related more to games themselves and not just necessarily the hardware platforms and the accessories. Which isn't, I know, what everyone who watches the channel is necessarily looking for from me but that's stuff that I do really enjoy doing. And I've kind of kept away from it for a long time because I put myself into that loop of, oh, the hardware and accessories are what are working. Let's keep doing that. And that's fine, but I don't know, it's draining. Now, I don't want the takeaway of this whole thing to be like, oh man, Kevin's a mess right now. No, like, yes, burning out and, you know, just kind of hitting this wall of, I need to slow down and breathe, but, Honestly, it is something that I am much more overall optimistic about. Uh, not gonna lie, there is certainly that part of my brain where there's the little voice screaming, oh no, less videos mean less views and the YouTube algorithm, all that stuff's there for sure. But considering how well just kind of repeating the same stuff again and again has done, clearly I need to start making some changes somewhere more from my own mind than anything. It's not even necessarily how YouTube treats, you know, how videos get shared. It's really just the fact that I'm tired of doing certain stuff all the time. Not all of it, but just the times where there's a difference between a specific product coming out that I'm really excited about and genuinely wanna make some great coverage of, and then, oh man, we need a video this week. What can we find to make something on? Two very different vibes, and I very much want to tone down the later of those in favor of focusing much more on the stuff that actually gets me excited. 
And again, a lot of this is already kind of in process. You know, I think I've already been kind of confronting the fact that I was burning out. And so that's why videos have been a little slower the past couple of weeks because we've been working on just kind of getting some stuff up and just letting my brain rest a little. We've also been taking care of some more backend stuff for redoing one of our main setups. Actually, for those of you that actually pay attention to, you know, my channel as well as John, uh, we switched offices a few months ago. And to be honest, we never really fully settled in. That's part of the reason why we've been doing this main shot a lot lately, uh, which is a shot I like, but I do certainly wanna do more varied stuff in here. And part of that comes with getting fully settled in and getting some new setups going. So yeah, this isn't a me disappearing entirely kind of video sort of thing. Um, I'm around, uh, we're just gonna be slowing things down for a little bit and maybe trying some new stuff a little more often because I just think it's about time. The problem with you guys giving me my boss coffee in the frame is it's already empty. I can't drink this.